Hello, my name is Janine Schrantz, founder of the charitable nonprofit We Can Inc., an acronym for Wellness and Education for Children and Adults of African Nations. After numerous years of traveling through many countries on the African continent, I realized since I was spending so much of my time in Africa that it was important that I also find a way to give something of importance to this continent and to her people. When I started my five months of travel around Africa in October 2009, I had this thought in mind, but nothing concrete as to how it might manifest. On New Year's Eve day, when Alan, my fiancé, and I were exploring some small villages outside the town of Fort Portal, Uganda, we found an orphanage we had been told about, and we gave the children a soccer ball we'd brought with us from the U.S. Guma Richard, the director of the orphanage, and the curious and smiling faces of the children were our first welcome into their world. And Guma and the children have become an integral part of our lives and our world ever since. The Orphanage Foundation for Destitute Children and Youth School was started in 2004 by Guma Richard when he was just 21. He had just inherited the small family home in Yango Village upon the passing of his parents. From early on, Guma had a dream that he wanted to help others less fortunate, and upon inheriting this family home, it gave him a place to put his dream into action. He initiated the Foundation for Destitute Children and Youth School, FDCYS, in September 2004, and has been working as its director ever since. He caters to the poor and orphaned children whose parents were massacred as a result of civil wars in western Uganda or who died from chronic diseases like HIV, AIDS, and other fatal causes. He started with 15 children, and today there are now 125 orphaned children at FDCYS. Since 2010, Alan and I have committed our time and financial resources toward helping Guma and FDCYS work towards developing programs that guide it towards becoming self-sustaining and self-reliant. We realized this project was much bigger than anything we could do on our own and knew we needed to expand our reach into communities around the U.S and the world to help Guma realize his dreams for the orphanage. This is what gave birth to our establishing our nonprofit, We Can Inc. Through generous donations from people all around the world, we have been able to take major steps toward growing the resources of the orphanage, as well as the villagers who live in Yango Village. Some of our accomplishments since 2010 are... Agalirala munkolimbo Agalirala Agalirala munkolimbo Okogera njogera omweru takira muddugavu Agalirala Agalirala munkolimbo Nakamwante tagenze kumbugo kundopa Sena kolantia Agalirala munkolimbo Agalirala Agalirala munkolimbo Agalirala Agalirala munkolimbo Okogera njogera ensu oyogera no lwendo Agalirala Agalirala munkolimbo Agalirala Our most recent project, just completed in December 2017, is construction of a vocational building on-site at FDCYS, teaching job training skills to the older children as well as young adults in the village. The three programs offered are tailoring, basket making, and carpentry. We have purchased the materials, supplies, and tools needed for each of the groups to get started. These training programs will benefit not only the children at FDCYS, but equally important, they will include all interested people from Nyango Village who want to learn a new life skill. Our Nyango Village community-based programs are the following. A few years ago, we started two women's cooperatives. One group specializes in sewing and tailoring, and we provided sewing machines and knitting machines for their use. Also, a basket-making group 
that now uses all natural fibers and colors in the construction of their baskets. Both groups of ladies sell their products to tourists as well as local villagers. These two groups now have a permanent site they can use in the new vocational job training building. We have expanded our farming project into Nyango Village and have established a farming cooperative called Happy Farmers of Nyango. We have 425 farmers plus their families who come together and work towards improving their standard of living and methods of farming. 80% of the population in Nyango are subsistence farmers and most had no tools or supplies to use for farming their individual plots of land. We have provided some basic tools as well as vegetable seeds and fruit trees to get them started. We have also provided intensive workshops led by specialists to teach the importance of rota rotating crops. These precious orphaned children and the villagers in Nyango are the inspiration and hope for a better future for their community. Through education, good nutrition, job training, and dreaming big dreams, they see hope for a new life. What is truly astonishing is how committed the people in this village are to uplifting the standard of living for everyone. They have made hundreds of thousands of bricks to help defray construction costs. They have dug the foundations so these projects could be completed and the orphan children have a safe place to live. It is truly humbling to watch how they care for each other and share whatever they have to help all their neighbors improve their lives. There are so many more projects that are still in the dream stages, waiting for the opportunity be to become a reality. We truly appreciate all the generous gifts and donations that We Can Inc. has received over the years and we look forward to ever more abundant donations in the coming years. Another very amazing and fantastic project that We Can has underway is in Mukwia Village, Malawi, located on the shores of Lake Malawi. In 2010, on the same trip to Africa where I met Guma Richard, I traveled from Uganda to Malawi. Alan had told me that I must go to Kata Bay area as Lake Malawi is truly beautiful. Within a day or two of arriving in Kata Bay, I met a young man, Tom Kandawi, and he told me about a program he had started a couple of years prior and asked if I would have an interest in meeting some of the orphans he was working with. The next day we met and he in introduced me to the children as they were playing an improvised game of football, soccer as we call it here in the U.S. Again, another coincidental meeting that has grown into both Alan and I working closely with Tom, the orphan children he helps so they can continue their studies, and new projects that benefit their entire village of Makuia next to Kata Bay in northern Malawi. Tom Kandawi was orphaned at an early age and his aunt, Janet, took him in and raised him as her son. He knows firsthand the hardships of being an orphan. Malawi is one of the poorest countries in Africa and has a high incidence of orphan children who have, been, who have been abandoned and left homeless. The situation is particularly serious for young orphan girls as they are easy prey for being sold into child marriage, some as young as 12 or 13 years old. When Tom was in his early 20s, he decided he wanted to help these orphan children in his community. He and two friends started Children for a Brighter Future. Over the years, Alan and I have sponsored many secondary and primary students. Since that time, some of our secondary students have graduated and completed their studies and we sent them on to college. Yet there are hundreds more orphan children in this rural village who also need sponsors to give them hope for a better future. In 2014, using donations received from family and friends, we raised money to start construction on a village project called Mukwia Student Study Center and Women's Cooperative. What is truly extraordinary is this construction became a true village project. Using their local red soil, the villagers made and fired all the bricks that were used in the construction of the building, the chicken house, and toilets about 80,000 bricks in total. Janet Chumia, Tom's aunt, donated the building site, land she inherited when her parents died. Janet and Tom now work in partnership with all the projects that are underway in their village. 
Janet and Tom have been instrumental in organizing the women's sewing cooperative and chicken raising projects. The women saved monies from the sale of their clothing and chicken project for a down payment on a small plot of land in Mizuzu, the closest town to Maguia Village. Tom had a dream of building a small grocery store on the remaining space of the lot in Mizuzu. With donation and the villagers' help making the bricks, the construction of this dry goods store was completed in mid-2017. The profits now help pay school fees and supplies for an additional 30 orphan children in Mukwea who attend the local schools but have no families to help them. In 2017, the preschool moved into a rented building and the cooperative building is now used as a teaching facility for the prevention of HIV and AIDS for this entire region of Malawi. It is the first of its kind in this area run by skilled and knowledgeable healthcare workers and is also a training facility for other groups to come and learn how to duplicate this program in their regions. This is an extraordinary accomplishment for Maguia Village. Our new project for 2018 is to build a 30-bed hostel on the parcel next to this cooperative building to house the 30 orphan children who are being sponsored to attend school from the profits of the grocery store. Again, Janet donated her last remaining family parcel of land. The village chief has donated all the bricks that will be needed for construction. The villagers will donate their labor. And now we can needs to raise donations to purchase the remaining materials that are needed and the skilled labor. These orphan children deserve a safe place to live. They have big dreams and are so committed to succeeding in their lives. All help and donations are greatly appreciated. As has been shown to me over and over again with each new project, the saying, it takes a village, says it all beautifully. With a sense of community and their desire to improve the lives of everyone in their village, dreams continue to become realities and children's lives continue to be transformed. Another remarkable project that has taken on a life of its own and is transforming the lives of everyone in their village is our farming project in Gunduk village in Cameroon. On the same trip to Africa, I met another young man who comes from a rural village in western Cameroon. Saliu Mafiri is another incredible person who over the years has given me insight into the lives of the people in his family village. On a trip to Africa, I went to Cameroon, met his family, of which there are hundreds, also the village chief and elders, and of course the children. They asked if I was ever able to help them, they would so appreciate any assistance I could give. In 2013, we started a women's cooperative, and on land loaned to our group by the village chief, the women and villagers cleared, planted, and harvested crops that benefited the widows and orphan children in the village. It was agreed that our first focus would be towards helping the widows and orphans, especially with school fees and food, as they were the most vulnerable. Since the start of our first project and the excitement of all the people in the village to help improve their lives, we progressed with amazing and fantastic results. Through donations from We Can Inc. and other donors, we helped fund a clean water project installing pipes running from the local mountains down into Nungup village to help provide clean drinking water for the villagers. There are now about 10 water spigots throughout the village providing everyone with safe drinking water. A year and a half after starting our farming project, the village chief donated to our farming cooperative a very generous permanent land grant, approximately 70 acres, and we have started cultivation on about 20 of these acres. Using donations made to We Can, we have given financial assistance to the villagers, and they have cleared these first 20 acres by hand, prepared the land for cultivation, fenced it to keep the cows out, and planted an orchard of 800 avocado trees. In addition, they have also planted their staple crops, vegetables, and fruit trees. Avocados are considered a cash crop in Cameroon, and profits will be used to help the widows and orphan children in this village. 
We have now started an animal husbandry project with raising goats and sheep, which will provide milk, protein, and income for the villagers. Our newest project just started in February 2018 in Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe, and it's in its infancy stage. In February 2018, we organized a women's cooperative for a chicken egg laying project. We purchased 270 point of lay hens and are now developing a new business for selling these eggs to the local markets and residents. The women running this program are all single mothers and widows who have no other means of supporting their children and paying school fees. The profits from the sale of the eggs will benefit the many widows and orphans who live in this impoverished area of Harare. We are excited to see how this project expands to include many other vocational programs in the coming years. Please join with We Can and our African families in helping to support and expand these projects and so many more that are waiting for their dreams to come true. We Can Inc. is a non-denominational, non-profit, and our purpose is to merge self-sustaining practices and technology of farming, housing, education, and medical services while honoring and respecting the traditions and cultures of the African people. To build a bridge using the best of both of our cultures, to enhance these children and adult lives, to show them a way out of starvation and into lives of self-reliance and self-sustainability. We Can Inc. is a registered 501c3 charitable organization and all deductions are tax deductible. 100% of all proceeds directly benefit We Can Inc. projects. No administration expenses are deducted.